In this video we're going to take a look at DTA analysis of polymeric materials. So here is a sort of generic thermogram that we might expect to see for a polymeric material and it just illustrates some of the features that we might get if we analyse a polymer. So there's a glass transition where the baseline changes and we refer to that as Tg for the temperature. We have a crystallisation event, Tc, melting, which we can refer to as Tm. It's also possible that we'll get oxidation if it's under an oxygen environment and then we'll get decomposition as well. So if we just focus on this first part of the thermogram and we're going to think about the glass transition to start with. So this is where we go from a glassy amorphous material to a flexible and rubber like material. There's no absorption or evolution of heat and so delta H equals zero but there is a change in heat capacity and that results in this baseline change. Okay, crystallization, we go from a flexible rubber-like material to a material that has microcrystalline domains. Um, heat is evolved on the formation of microcrystalline domains um, where we get these ordered regions. So we get this exothermic peak and it's an exothermic process. And then we have melting, where we, we actually melt these microcrystalline domains and we get a molten polymer. So heat is absorbed on the loss of the microcrystalline domains, uh, meaning that it's an endothermic process. So we have this endothermic peak. The peak is pointing down in the direction of the, any endothermic processes. Okay, so that's been a video about DTA analysis of polymeric materials. I hope you found that useful. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and thanks very much for watching.